right, we are getting you caught up on some major music news. Usher is saying, yeah. <laughs> I, Look at you. I was, try, I was gonna try was it. it. It's not, you know how it goes. <laughs> They're performing in what maybe? Usher, baby. Usher. Uh, well, maybe his biggest <laughs> show yet, the Super Bowl 58 halftime show in Las Vegas. He has some big shoes to fill as yes. some of the world's biggest artists have rocked the stage at the big game. So we asked you all to tell us who was put on the best halftime show, halftime show of Watch all this. time. Watch we got this. Kiki and Kelly here. Do you guys have favorites from the halftime show? This is, was such an obvious question. Yeah. Maybe. So you knew, you knew? Immediately. I think about it, it lives rent free in my head. Oh, good. Who? Who it was it? Aerosmith, Britney Spears, and NSYNC. That's when, actually on our list. I had to look up the year because that one was that one was hard for me. Oh my god! When they sang "Walk This Way" and JT and Britney had like a lot of tension between them because oh. they were like, I think newly dating or hadn't really come out to the public yet. So you knew it was going on. Oh, you knew something was. That's a lot of information. I yeah. know. Again, rent free. Man, it just um, stays there. I, I like the Janet J. Justin. Um, I oh, like that. That was one. the. Wardrobe yes, yes, malfunction. Yes, that, that we that all I wasn't remember. paying attention. I was like, what? Uh, oh, well. Anyway, more chips, more dips. <laughs> um, and then Beyonce, Bruno Mars, and Rihanna. I did oh. not like the West Coast performance oh, with that Dr. Was, Dre. And was that last? No, wait. When that was, was like two years ago, yeah, right? Two years. I last like year was, was Rihanna when she was, when she was pregnant. I yeah. thought that was awesome. Uh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. I don't I know. There have been some good ones over the years. Oh, so good. Beyonce too. Beyonce. We have no idea who played, but. I can, <laughs> truly, I, I don't know. I'm there for Nobody the knows. dips. I'm there for the musical act. I like to say it's my job. It's I'm there for research. Right. I'm there exactly. for commercials. You can see the, the same thing. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I saw your video on Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Oh, Amazing. Oh my Go God, I love her, them so much. Instagram. That's a whole other topic. <laughs> it's a whole other topic. All right, so we wanted to read some of your comments and what people were saying. And so Prince from the Super Bowl 2007. Oh, yeah. Who so else good. would I stay forgot. on stage during the rain? Do you remember when Purple Rain came? Yes. And then it was, it was raining and oh, it was magical. Oh, wow. It was magical. That was a good one. He shouldn't even be allowed to be in a category with anyone else. Prince yeah. is Prince. It's, it's not fair. You can't separate. get air. Totally separate. Up. That's genius. Mm. Uh, Lady Gaga, 2017. Do you guys remember this? When she jumped. Yes. Do you remember at the beginning? I yes. that one. And everyone was like, <gasps> I've seen her in concert. She's amazing. Oh, by far. She should be. You know so Al, Al Lee says, Lady Gaga <laughs> all day, every day. She sang while being carried upside down queen. Oh, I could not agree more. We that could talk to our inversion. We could do the show upside yeah. down. We know can how I much see? you like being upside down. Another, come right side up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Aerosmith, somebody else had this one. Yes. Uh, Laura says, in sync, Aerosmith's halftime performance in 2001 was the most epic ever. Amazing collaboration with surprise performances by Britney Spears, Mary J. Blige, Nelly. Do you, you remember the classic Nelly oh. album? Country no? Grammar. Yes. yes. I remember the album. I don't remember him performing. Um, no, I don't remember that either. It's just yeah. the album. Yeah, the album. <laughs> it was changed great. us as people. As people. <laughs> I'm going downtown, baby. A lot of singing baby. here. We're in a lot of confidence. Um, <laughs> we have the Rolling Stones. That was one of our next ones okay. from Michael. So, so good. Mm -hmm. um, that one was in Detroit. That was. I had to look this one up. That was 2006. Okay. I don't know. I graduated high school that year. And I also can't believe that Aerosmith was, <laughs> was, <laughs> was the was year. Like, I'm going to pretend you didn't say Aerosmith, I remember you it like it was school? yesterday, and I was 13. Was terrible. I just turned 13. Wow. I know. You were a little pup. So were you. I was, I was very mature. I was a mother. Kiki was our PTA. babysitter. Gosh. Oh, my um, God. Life was life in. Shakira. Wait, was it Shakira? Yeah, Shakira's next. I didn't like that And J-Lo. Mm. A lot of booty shaking. Mm. A lot of booty shaking. I didn't mind yeah. that. I just sequins. It was a lot. It was boring. I did not like this one. I, I, did I don't not. remember liking this one. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, mm. Michael Jackson, 1993. Ooh. And Alante says this was actually the pivotal turning point for halftime shows. Up until then, it was just kind of like, a mm -hmm. you know, you got a little mm -hmm. bit. But yeah. this was like, oh, yep. we're doing a whole thing. Okay. I, I do remember that. MJ brought yeah, it. MJ. And that's from Raymond. Raymond says this. First and foremost, all music artists have yep. performed at the Super Bowl should be thanking Michael Jackson. Yes. Absolutely. A little fun fact about the halftime show, too. You know they don't get paid. Right. This this is what we were talking about. Yes. So Taylor Swift is never doing halftime. Correct. She right now, they to. get paid. They just don't get paid from the NFL. I'm sure they no, get paid. No, they get n absolutely no pay for getting on that stage. $13 million a night Taylor's making right now on the Ayers tour. She She's has not, no interest. No, she has no interest. Uh, you 2 2002. Um, post 9-11 tribute to all those Americans who left us too soon. Oh, I remember that. I, I remember do that. Too. Yeah. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Also, this brought up the discussion. Do you remember when we all had the new iPhone that gave us the U2 album that none of us wanted? And no one, and we didn't know how to get it off. And no one, I still have U2 songs I I, on I, my phone. I think I was an Android user at the time. <laughs> Thank God. I'm that's newly. the only time where that's <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the only time. I'll just quickly mention uh, the 2002, uh, 2022 collaboration that we had with yeah, Mary see, Bush, I loved Snoop, it. Ray, 50, Eminem, and then Bruce Springsteen, 2009 was our last one. But yeah, that's my man. Crush we have right our there. favorites. We'll see what this year brings with Usher Baby. Uh, I can't wait. I don't know. Just ignore, ignore me. I loved it. We'll be right back. <laughs>